Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a moment to share something with you that I heard while I'm doing some things behind the scenes. Um, I was listening to a training on YouTube and it was with TD Jakes. Now, I don't watch TD Jakes. I haven't, you know, really consumed consistent amounts of his information for years. Now, it's not because I don't think that he's an amazing pastor. It's just that where he teaches is not where I am, you know, any longer. So we all outgrow um, different arenas. And for me, that had been the case. But, you know, I do know that he's a profound um, preacher, and I believe that what he shares is very relevant for his viewing audience or the the believers that he attracts at this stage. However, the title of his message said something about uh, personal economy or something. It was a trigger word for me, as personal economy is part of my assignment and what I do as it relates to women and helping them to grow their personal economy. So I click on it. And I've also watched a um, video of him maybe about a month ago now. Um, and that was because it was with Tony Robbins. So if you notice, it's more of an entrepreneurial track when here lately when I'm listening to his trainings. But today he said something he said several things, actually, that really were triggers, good triggers for me. And I wanted to share this one particular thing. You see in the title, it says mentors and models. But one of the things he talked about, and I've noticed he's been talking about our personal economy and things of that nature since the pandemic has come about, because, you know, he's recognizing that we have so many different needs um, as people. But our personal economy has been a huge part of a need for us. Like our conversations aren't necessarily um, conversations about our personal economy more than they are, you know, maybe about buying the latest trendy stuff or, you know, some of the more um, normalized ways of Omeka, oh, hey darling, of getting by. And he said a profound statement. He said 80% of the problems that we face when people even come to him for prayer and things like that, they're usually tied to, tied to um, the lack of money problem. And, you know, I saw this many, many years ago as one of the reasons why I believe that, you know, women should create amazing businesses and brands that fund their lifestyle and not <clears throat> run their lifestyle. It's why you guys were hearing me talk about money mindset with no shame. I'll speak about money because I understand that a huge part of what we face is centered around, you know, money or the lack of money. So I have no shame in talking about my desire to want to help women step into their next highest version, um, whether that's income or, or in their life, and most of the time it's both. So in the midst of that particular conversation, he mentioned the fact, he started talking about mentors and models, mentors and models. And based on what he said, I want to let you guys know that you need both. Um, so I'm going to kind of branch off from what he said and then give you guys my perspective on mentors and models. I believe that we need mentors and I believe that we need models. So mentor can be someone that you watch from afar that you have never, ever met. And you can feel your life changing because you're connected to them. You're listening to them. Maybe you watch them on uh, Facebook like myself or, you know, Instagram, YouTube, one of the platforms. And you really feel connected and you've done some of the things that they've shared and you've seen changes in your life. Um, people from afar. Those are mentors. For me, my mentor from afar was one of them was Miles Monroe. So I remember a huge valuable lesson I learned from him many, many years ago, and that was to create value. And you guys will hear me talking about creating value all the time, because as I made that my centralized focus, everything for me shifted, right? 
right? So when you hear a mentor, even if they are from afar, share things with you that change your life, it, there, there's this connection that transpires. There's a level of truth that you understand that they walk in. There's a realm that they usually exist in that you may not have reached yet, but because you're connected to them, you do. And then there's another type of mentor, and that may be through books that you read. I am an avid reader. And so maybe you've read someone's life story or um, you've seen a documentary or something and you got a form of mentorship from that as well. But there's an even deeper level of mentorship that most people are actually missing. And that space is the actual model. So I'll give you an example. So I have a mentor that I've had for over 20 plus years. And it's, it's funny because when I was actually working for her many years ago, um, early in my entrepreneurial journey, I didn't understand that she was even my mentor. I didn't know, you know, the term mentorship. I didn't understand it at that particular time, but that's what was transpiring. But it was transpiring from a space of modeling. And that's what most people are missing. They're missing um, a model for what it is that they desire to build. And it's a blessing to be able to get a mentor who can also model what it is that you need. Because most oftentimes, hey Rose, we're looking for a mentor, mentor who has a measure of wisdom, who can um, help us to navigate through situations. They have uh, maybe a higher insight or perspective on something um, that you may not be as knowledgeable about. But what most people are missing is the model, right? So if you're blessed to get a mentor who can also model what it is that you desire, it makes a huge difference. One of the things I remember T.D. Jakes sharing was um, his daughter was coming over to his house and I guess they were having the conversation about preaching. And he asked her to stop to the store and pick up a puzzle. And she was like, okay, like, a puzzle, you know, what kind of puzzle? He was like, you know, maybe something on a fifth grade level or whatever, you know, just a puzzle. And when they get to the house, they begin talking about preaching. And she's like, Dad, you know, I want to talk about preaching. Why did you ask me to get a puzzle? He said, because that's pretty much what preaching is like. It's like all of these different pieces. And then you have to put all of the pieces together. And then he asked her, he said, why do you think they give you a picture on the front of the box of the puzzle? And it's because you need a model. You need to actually be able to see it. So most of the time, what you experience from mentors from afar, people that you're listening to like myself, um, maybe even a book, you normally experience the what, but not the how. I'm going to say that one more time. You normally experience the what, but not the how, unless you have invested to connect with them on a different level so that you can actually see the how. And this is why many people spend so much time um, in their entrepreneurial journey or even in their life journey trying to figure it out because they've heard the what, but they haven't seen the how. They've heard the what, but they haven't seen the how. And so when you're, you know, looking for mentorship, there is another level. I was, when I was listening to his talk, you know, and I'll probably tune in to him a little more now than I have been over maybe the last five or six years. As I said before, I enjoy his teachings. I think he is an amazing pastor, but that's just not where I am. Even for my spiritual um nourishment, I need more deeper levels of teaching. So I'm just not there anymore, but I think he's absolutely amazing. Also, I think it's um, super important that we focus on the monetary aspects in our life, because as he said before, 80% of our issues are really lack of money issues. He said most people are coming to him, praying to him about that. And, you know, most of us haven't had a model of being able to step into that next realm of, of wealth. Um, I do feel extremely blessed, guys. I really do. Both of my parents, um, although my parents are divorced, are entrepreneurs, and they're both into some form of real estate, purchasing houses. My mom's actually a builder. I mean, I am really blessed to have a model. I'm really, really blessed to have a model and someone who has probably made you know, their own mistakes prior to you know me and me not having to make those stakes, mistakes 
in those measures of wealth. But most of us, when we're thinking about our personal economy, if we just got some money coming in, we kind of feel okay. But I'm telling you, they're just different realms and different levels. And, you know, I've been in entrepreneurship for decades now. However, the space that I'm in now, as far as time freedom and financial freedom and how I earn my revenue, is a space that I feel many of us were meant to experience because it allows us to do the things that are super valuable to us as well. So when you're thinking about mentorship, get someone who can also model. And this is where most people feel like, oh, I've heard that before. But see, they hear the what and not the how. They hear the what and not the how because they haven't invested in order to get to that space. So, so many people who are desiring to teach, coach, train have never been taught, coached, or trained. So they don't know the procedures. They don't know the contracts. They don't know, I mean, even with the business foundation, so many of us know the craft, but we don't know the business. And so in times like what we're facing now, you know, many people didn't know how to qualify for the EIDL or the different things that were made available because because they hadn't seen the how, which is the actual business infrastructure, not just the craft. And so I just wanted to share that with you all. Uh, I, I was listening. It was an aha. I so align with it. I believe it fully. Um, there are different levels of mentorship. I actually did a training on that live probably about two or three years ago on um, mentorship and the different levels of catalyst and um, a sponsor and all of those different things. So this is why it's so important. That I, I always talk about having brand clarity because when you understand who you are and you know where you're at in your business building process, whether you're in the seed stage, growth stage, stage of expansion, or you're about to decline, but knowing where you are will dictate the type of mentor that you need. Prime example for my spiritual mentoring. Uh, of course, I have a church home, but you know I like to get spit, fed spiritually all week long. You know I I enjoy being taught um, in the things of God all week long. I also enjoy being taught things about next level for business and money and economy. And what I understand is, although I think TD Jakes is an amazing pastor right? Because I understand where I am in my spiritual walk. That wasn't what I needed anymore. So for years, I listened to him for, but for like the last five or six, it's just not where I am. But you don't know what you need if you have not assessed where you are in the process of growing your business or your brand. So are you in the C stage? Are you in the growth stage? Are you in the stage of expansion? So many people say they're in the growth stage when in actuality they're still in the seed stage, even having been in business 5, 10, 15, 20 plus years, they are still in the seed stage. Because sometimes we, um, we look at the stage that we're at with the number of years that we've been in business, but it's just like... You know how some people say, oh, he's like 70 years old, he's so wise, but we know that age doesn't necessarily mean wisdom, and the number of years that we're in business doesn't necessarily equate what stage we're at in our business either, because you can be still in the seed stage um, and you know have been in business over a decade. And so when, when you think seed stage, I'm wasn't going to get further into that. But when you think about C stage, stages in business are based on whether you have certain systems in place, um, how your business is functioning, how you're attracting clients. Hey, Crystal, how are you, dear? Um, that's Those are the things that determine what the C stage is, not the number of years. And when we think about mentors and, and models, you know, maybe a mentor will give you amazing information. I'm a mentor, but I am also a model for those who desire to create signature programs, develop coaching, teaching, training, hire staff, because those are things that I can model for you because I've done it before. And it's a complete difference from having a mentor that you watch all the time, but you have no connection to outside of seeing them on social media or seeing them on YouTube or reading about them in a book. It's, it's completely different. And most people have mentors that are from afar 
or that they've deemed their mentor and though but the mentor doesn't even know that that person considers them their mentor um, and most of the time what they get from those mentors is the what but not the how and we were talking about mentors and models models will be able to show you the how I thought about this I, my mastermind members for last year, we went to a retreat, of course, with the pandemic and the social distancing and all of that stuff is not going down, right? Um, this particular, at this particular time. But I remember last year when uh, we were handing out the packets for the ladies at the mastermind and those who came to the retreat, and there was a paper missing inside the packet, so they were numbered. And... You know, I asked my daughter to go and look in my travel bag to see if the papers were in there. Now, mind you, later, my guest said, how in the world were you so calm? Like, you were just acting as if you weren't worried or anything of that nature. And what I was modeling, you guys hear me when I tell you this, what I was modeling for them is a sense of peace right because you need peace to prosper i could have been hysterical oh lord where's the paper or i could have felt like oh my god you know there's a paper missing out of their thing but i realized it was either there with me or it wasn't and it was something that i was beyond my control so i modeled peace for them in the midst of chaos i'm actually hosting a uh, master life class this sunday called mental detox and it's going to help you to operate in peace in times of chaos, like when things are kind of uncertain as the times that we are in um, today. Um, so go to that link, check it out, join us. It's a two hour um, class because a lot of times we, we hear things, but we haven't seen anyone model it. And there's a, a whole nother level of being able to see someone modeling it, actually connecting, investing, to have someone support you through the process is different from them telling you the what on a live, on a YouTube, or in a book. The what and not the how. So you get the what, but you don't get the how unless you're willing to invest on that level. So mentors and models. Guys, join us in our mental detox. You need peace to prosper? You need peace to prosper? I talk a lot about mindset um, even thinking on a different level, um, that's what we're going to be talking about, um, a mental detox in that particular Master Life class. i love to have you. You need it for your next level. Mentors and models. See you guys later. Peace.